Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. It is finally here. October has come to us. I have been waiting all year. It feels like it has been forever. How long have we been waiting for the Halloween season? Nine, nine months. <laughs> <laughs> of course, but you know, it feels like a really long time. So I try to give you Halloween all year, you know, but in October it's more kind of acceptable. So what I'm gonna do for you today is create a look that you can incorporate into any theme or costume or whatever you want to do. You can be a witch, you can be a vampire, you could be a vampire witch. You can be anything with this makeup, maybe not a sexy cat. So we're not gonna be doing like crazy special effects or anything in this look, it's literally gonna be things that you can use at home to create an effective Halloween look. So I'm gonna be using all products from Beauty Bay today and I wanna say a huge, huge, huge thank you to Beauty Bay for sponsoring this video. This is actually really exciting for me because I love Beauty Bay. If you're not familiar with Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay is the go-to destination for the beauty obsessed. And let me tell you, I'm obsessed and I shop on there <laughs> at least once a week. Even if it's just to pick up one thing, they put over 7,000 new products on their website each week. There are so many incredible products on there. And I think what's great about them and why I'm so obsessed with Beauty Bay is because they source brands from all over the world. Being here in the UK, it can be quite difficult to get certain brands. So Beauty Bay make it really, really easy. I recently got, I lived in Melbourne in Australia, not that long ago, actually it was, it was ages ago. But I found a product on Beauty Bay, it's a poor, poor ointment. Ointment? Treatment? Um, in the yellow tube, I think we can get in a red tube here easily, but the yellow one's are really hard to find. And I loved it when I lived in Australia. It was like my go-to product. And I found it on Beauty Bay, so I was incredibly, incredibly happy. And something else you can find on Beauty Bay, which is of course exclusive to Beauty Bay, is their own brand, which has very quickly become one of my absolute favorite brands. Their eyeshadows, incredible. We're gonna be using those today. Their lip glosses, their eye pencils. I just recently bought their new pastel eye pencils as well, which we won't be using today because we're going quite dark, but another time. And you may be familiar with their collaborations with other creators like Mitchell and Nikki, who I just reviewed recently. Another thing I adore about Beauty Bay and shopping with Beauty Bay is how they give something back to you in the form of tribe points. So tribe points is basically like a point system where you purchase and they give you points to put towards other rewards. In the past, I've um, put it against eyeshadow palettes and Beauty Bay's eyeshadow palettes, free shipping, things like that. So it's a really, really good system and it's quite a generous one as well. So I would 100% recommend checking them out. I'll leave a link below to everything we use today, of course, so you can go and check them out for yourself. Okay, so let's do it. It's the perfect day here. If you're a regular here on my channel, you know how much I despise summer hate it with a passion. And I woke up today, no, I'm gonna film this video, a Halloween look, my first Halloween look I'm gonna film, and it's raining outside, it's dark, it might as well be the middle of the night. Perfect, absolute perfection, I can hear the rain. <laughs> This is why I love this time of year here in England. Let's start with your eyes first. We're gonna do quite, I've done my brows already and I've just highlighted underneath with a product I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I've done them quite spiking quite up because we're gonna go for a look that kind of goes past the eyebrows. So of course I have to do a tiny bit of purple today. <laughs> so the first palette we're gonna use is the Nude Matte. So this is a nine color palette. And this is what I was talking about earlier, Beauty Bay's own formula. Absolutely stunning. I think I mentioned earlier the pigmentation in these palettes are stunning. Just the formula is incredible. What I'm gonna do with this palette, I'm gonna use the shade Cinnamon right here, which is this perfect new tone. And I'm gonna kind of map out where we're gonna go because it's gonna get a little bit crazy up in this area here. Let me just zoom in slightly. Oh, I've got to mention, I'm wearing contacts, of course, because I want it to be quite Halloween-y, you know, so. I mean, you don't need, well, that's, that's not necessary. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is I actually wanna bring some color up here. So what I want to do is almost map out where we're gonna go with this nude. I'm gonna tuck it right into this corner first. And it's almost like we're gonna do a halo eye, but one that goes up this way and out this way. So I'm gonna buff that right up to the brow. And we're gonna come just above the brow here in a slight point. And this is almost gonna be like a halo for our other colors. I just wanna kind of map out where we're going, perfect. And then I kinda of wanna bring the outside here up in this direction. So I'm gonna just start to make like a tiny triangle that points towards the end of my brow. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me post about um, the Makeup Revolution texture and palettes 
already. But one thing I really like about them is the mattes blend really well. I have a very, um, <laughs> I guess, high expectation of what eyeshadows should do. And especially with mattes, I find that in some palettes, some brands, you can't build the mattes on top of each other. They kind of like, um, you can pack the colour on and then you blend it out and it's all gone. And then you try to build the colour on top of it and it kind of gets this weird like patchy texture. Whereas with the Beauty Bay ones, I know I can build and I know I can add more colour and add more definition, add more precision where I want to go without having to worry about it going too patchy. We'll also use a cinnamon shade under the eyes, but I like to do under the eye after we've done the concealer. And also I kind of really want to darken them up, so we'll wait until we've covered that area. Okay, so this is kind of my guide and my map of where I want to go. I have some darkness inside corner. So every step that we're going to do is almost the same, but on a miniature scale. So every step should halo, be haloed by the previous one. If that makes sense. I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> so let's go into the bright matte palette, which is the 40, 42, am I out of focus? Colour palette. Let me just get behind it here. <laughs> These are absolutely amazing. And like I said earlier about the, um, matte shades. They build up incredibly well on top of each other. I've done a few looks using this palette and I've always been impressed by the texture. So I'm going to go in with the purple of course because it's me but you can use whatever colour you like. Um, green, red, um, blue. Why am I listing colours? You know what colours are. <laughs> I'm going to take a very precise brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Grape Escape which is this one here. And so like I said before we're going to do that same thing but on like a mini scale. So let's start off on the edge of a brow here. My scar is going to kind of like um, ruin the shape there, but I'm kind of like, this is going to make my nose look nice and contoured. Okay, so let's carry that colour into the socket. Let's start with the socket here first. So remember we're doing kind of like a halo look, so I kind of want to leave a gap in the middle. And then I'm gonna, I'm kind of taking this purple in the direction of my brow hair. I'm just gonna buff that out with a fluffier brush. You're probably thinking at the moment, what's going on? But when we're done, it's gonna be a lilk. So like what we did before in the outside corner, we're gonna start by making that little triangle. Still kind of leaving that gap in the middle there. And just add a tiny, tiny bit at a time, especially with darker eyeshadows. And in a minute, we're going to move on to black. Especially with darker eyeshadows, you want to build up little bit by little bit. Let's not get crazy straight away. If you could wear any costume, money was no limit. You could do anything that your imagination could, you know, summon. What would your Halloween costume be this year? I've always wanted to do like um, the raisin woman from the front of the um, raisins. So I'm taking this outside purple now, right out. I'm taking it right out to my hairline. And again, don't worry about being tidy or messy. Concealer foundation is gonna help us tidy that up. So I do wanna leave a middle because it's a halo, but then we're also gonna put black in the outside corner. So let's just take the purple three, a quarter of the way across, just like this and leave the middle there. So back into our nude mattes, I'm going to go for Illicit, which is this deep dark black. So this black is very pigmented, so tiny bit at a time, like I said, gradually build it up. I'm going to go into the product itself, and I'm actually going to tap it off. And I'm not going to go crazy, I'm going to place with purpose. And you see where we kind of have this darker patch of purple? That's where I want to add the black, just right in there. Then let's add some just to the middle of this here. Think of it like, you know how like a fire has, well I guess it doesn't in real life, but like cartoon fires have that middle, inner and outer. Think of it like that and the black is like right on the inside. Gently buff that into the rest of the makeup with a blending brush. I am going to go on the lid with a black now. 
just on the inside corner there just to get that halo look and then on the outside corner here that tiny that triangle again but we're going to do a tiny tiny version and then blend that outwards I'm being very gentle with my brush I'm holding it like right up here so there's not too much pressure and then with my blending brush So now we've added the darker, I'm go I actually want a bit more purple. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with a purple power, which is this one here. I'm gonna add that just on the edges of the black on the halo, so we get that fade into the black. And then just blend that in. By blending in, you don't always have to like blend, 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 you can just tap. So after we do the foundation, I would like to pull this out right to the hairline, because by doing this in the middle here, we close the eyes inwards, and I like to have my eyes looking like that over here. So just to finish up the top of the eyes, we'll do that underneath in just a moment. I'm gonna go in with a liquid crystal eyeshadow. This is exactly how it sounds, it's liquid crystal. Um, <laughs> This is a shade Moonstone, and I'm just gonna take the applicator and I'm gonna use it, it's point, just like that. I'm gonna press it just to the middle here. And just fill in that gap. I'm just gonna go around the edges of the eyeshadow and gently tap outwards like this. And we're not blending it in or anything like that. I just want it to spread very delicately and gently. That's why I'm tapping, I'm not rubbing across that little area. All right. Okay, let's move on to face quickly. So for our foundation and concealer, I have a Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation, and I also have the Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is my shade, this is slightly lighter. I'm gonna mix the two so I can pale myself down slightly because, you know, so I know I've mixed it with concealer, but I have actually used this foundation before. And I just really, really like the overall texture of the foundation. It's affordable, first of all, which is great. It's a full coverage if you want full coverage. And it's almost like a natural matte, so it's not completely dry because I know especially people with oilier skin, Sometimes we like to be matte, but we do like to have a bit of a shine to our face, you know? So in my opinion, this is more of a natural matte rather than being full on flat and dry and matte, you know? So I'm just being very careful around this area here. I'm almost grabbing my brush and going around it. And I'm just tucking that brush into that area there and going around that point. We're gonna bring it out a little bit more anyway. And then same again up here. I'm just gonna use the edge of my brush and just go around these little bits. So we get quite a good full coverage from that foundation without it feeling heavy or cakey on the skin or looking like too full coverage. I always get this little bit here. So I'm gonna use a Conceal and Perfect concealer by itself. I'm just gonna get all those bits that I wanna highlight slightly or just even out the redness. Now, because we are doing like a whole vampy thing, I am gonna take my concealer slightly further down than I usually would just to peel up the skin even more. You don't even need to pale down your skin for like a vampy kind of thing. You can actually just add a load of highlighter and then it's like, oh my God, you're glowing. Like vampires do. So I'm just gonna take my brush that has that purple left on it. I'm just gonna buff this out even more, right up to the hairline. And you may find that the more you bring it out, the further up you need to come with it because um, it's gonna start looking like a line. Almost ignore the tail off your brow and just go ahead and blend over that. Okay, let's do under the eyes. We're gonna go back in with cinnamon, which is the first shade we use. This is a really great color anyway for um, transition shades or just a neutral shadow. We're gonna use it to kind of deepen under our eyes and make ourselves look nice and tired. Not that I need much help with that. So I've just got a large fluffy brush. I'm not being too like um, careful with it. I'm just going backwards and forwards under the eye. We're gonna take our purple power and run that right under the eye. And kind of join it up to this outside corner here. And then we'll go in with the black and then just line our eye, kind of like we would normally underneath. And then just with a blending brush, I'm just gonna go backwards and forwards along that seam where the black meets the purple and buff that in so we get a nice smoky black. So from Beauty Bay's own brand, I'm gonna be using, this came as a trio, these eye pencils. So you have a dark brown, a nude, and a black. So all your kind of necessary basics there. We're gonna use the black just to line the bottom waterline. Pencils like this, these wind up pencils are incredible for staying power. If you have leaky eyes or you find that eye pencils don't sit very well, 
But someone kind of like to do a wind up pencils, right? From any brand to see how like generous they are. So <laughs> every wind up pencil I always find, of course have has this little bit here that you can wind up, but I always want to see, I'll do it with this one. Yes, if you can pull it out, if there's a sharpener underneath. These are usually hidden on these pencils. Don't go breaking your pencils, but see if you can gently pull it out. And then usually there's a sharpener underneath. I love it when brands do that because although these are kind of like self sharpening, and by that I mean they kind of sort the shape out themselves as you use them. If you ever want that really fine point, you just wind it through here and it sharpens it for you. Love that. Thank you, Beauty Bay. So we're going to go in with another Beauty Bay product and this is a highlighter in the shade Flash. Can I just say thank you, first of all, thank you for making the front of this see-through so I can actually see what products I'm picking up. I never remember products by name. I always remember them by um, my experience with them and how they looked. So I'm gonna go in quite strong with this, again, because we're vampires, but then I do like to go over top with my foundation brush that I just used with no extra foundation, just the products on there and then buff that into the skin. So one thing I'm looking for in highlighters and you all know from watching my videos is how they look on the skin. I like them to look metallic on the skin. I don't like glitter. I don't like um, too much sparkle. I like them to look like they're coming from within the skin. I'm just gonna buff that in, like I said, with a foundation brush. Yes, and then we get that coming from within glow. People will be asking you what highlighter are you using? You're like, I'm not. It's just my vampire glow. You wouldn't understand unless you're a vampire. I'm gonna highlight under the brow with this. I'm using quite a bit almost to get like a color from it. I like that a lot, that's nice. I think I might get a, a deeper one actually so it's more like everyday. Although, to be fair, I could get away with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and contour and sculpt and vampire our face. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Highlight and Contour Pro palette. This is really cool to have all these in here. This is actually a highlighter by itself. So if you did want kind of everything together, this does have like a nice metallic shine to it. And then you have your more matte highlighters here and deeper contours. This is kind of a bit bronze for me on my skin tone, um, but this will go nicely, this like, this like gray tone. And these come right out. So I'm guessing you can refill as well. Profesh. And we're gonna like, and just hollow out our face basically. Since everything is kind of going up in this direction, that's also where I'm going with our contour, heading up towards here. Now, I wouldn't usually suggest this on me because I have such a long face anyway. To bring it down this way, it's just going to elongate. I would usually cut off here because I like to make my face look a little bit rounder. But because we are, you know, vampires, known for their long faces. <laughs> I mean, I quite like this look for every day. I kind of, I'm liking that um, inside corner there. I'm very gently gonna go down the edges of a nose and I'm gonna follow from these little bits we made in the inside corner of our nose. This is, I'm having so much fun. I can hear the rain outside. I've got a Halloween candle going over there. I've got my, what's this called? Chandelier, chandel, candelabra, chandelabra. <laughs> this is the best. I love Halloween. I love October. I can wear all my coats that I bought during summer. So to finish up eyes, we're gonna go in with the Doll Beauty Lashes in Kimberly. Doll Beauty Lashes, amazing. If you haven't tried their lashes, I would highly, highly recommend it. They're such good um, quality. I haven't used this particular shape before, style I should say, but I chose them because they looked really wispy. I feel like lashes can definitely add a lot of shape to the eye. And because we spent so long making this particular shape, I don't then want to go in with a lash that's gonna change it too much. So these just all kind of flick out at a really similar length. Um, so it's not gonna change the shape too much at all. Perfect. Yes, okay. These are just the perfect amount of like wispy. These are kind of like everyday to me, but not too over the top. You can just see these nice little spikes. Mm, okay, I love those. All right. So for the lips, I'm thinking completely like blanked out chap lip style. So I got this lipstick from Dose of Color in the shade Butterscotch. And I chose it because it's basically like completely flesh. Oh, mm. people always shy away from flesh tones like that. But here's the deal, mix it with your existing lipsticks and then you can kind of like change up any lipstick you have. I'm gonna go back into our nude mattes. Oh. I'm gonna go back 
I'm gonna go back into our nude matte palette and I'm gonna go for the shade Throwing Shade, which is this gray, this true, like, I call it elephant gray, you know what I mean? I'm gonna take a small amount on a brush and I'm just gonna line the inside of her lip right here. I always wish, I remember one time I was shopping and I saw this guy and his lips were the exact same colour as his skin. I was like, I want that. I want that for me. Okay, so I actually got um, a quad um, off Beauty Bay's own lip glosses. This is a shade Ballet, which is just a nice nude. Matte lips, when they're like this, maybe a little bit too much for me. So I'm just going to add a covering off nude gloss. So this is my whole finished look. So imagine, you know, witch's hat or um, vampire cape or some vampire teeth. You can use this to be like anything, really. <laughs> you can also pair this up if you want it to with a black lip, a bright, bright lip, anything you want. It doesn't have to be nude like this. You know me, I don't really like colour. I'm personally going to add um, some fake black blood to my mouth just for image effect, really. <laughs> But if you want to keep it pretty this Halloween, this is a great one to go for. I am so incredibly impressed with everything we use today. I feel like we have made a really effective Halloween look. One of my favourites. I love this a lot. So I will leave everything in the link below for you. Every product that I use today will be linked down there. So you can go ahead and check those products out for yourself. Thank you so much again to Beauty Bay for sponsoring this video today. I'm so incredibly thankful and so happy to be working with a company that I absolutely adore. So thank you so much. Thank you again for joining me. Please consider subscribing if you you liked this video and giving it a big thumbs up follow me on all my socials um that's pretty much it i will see you very soon goodbye